It's the same thing. So Howard Stern sort of did the same thing, right? Where that he was coming out and or whatever. But an interesting thing about Stern is I was looking at uh, if you Google Howard Stern's name, which I was I do that daily. Yes, <laughs> just, you know weekly. I just yeah, yeah I'm always checking. What he's up to. But I, I if you Google his name and pick news. There's not a single news article about Joe Rogan that, or sorry, that about Howard Stern that isn't related to someone that he's getting mad at them for vaccine stuff, right? Yeah, yeah that's. I mean, that's his his cause at this point. Is no, his but cause is to no. Oh, sure, sure, I'll say that's his cause. But I'm going more st- one step further. Like it's only in relation to another famous guy that. Oh, like he basically has. He makes <laughs> his whole thing is just drama with. Yeah. Yeah. You think he watches what's going on in the YouTube drama community and then he goes, This is there's something to this. That's that's exactly kind of was. Do you want to hear a, a, a theory that I have that I, I think that I'm, I'm gonna try to say it quickly because I think people aren't gonna like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so because you know how people we all there is the drama community, right? Yeah. So I decided, or not decided, when I, one night when I couldn't sleep, I was getting really into the idea of what what's the difference between you know like controversial opinions and controversial people and because we kind of use these words interchangeably right yeah and i was thinking that if you think of it like uh like a uh what do you call this graph like a a quadrant a quadrant right okay so for audio listeners think of quadrants and on the the uh the horizontal quadrant that is opinions, how controversial your opinions are. And then on the vertical quadrant is how controversial you are, mm-hmm. right? So and then, and if you think of the boxes, the bottom left box is safe, you know, Paul Rudd, Fallon, something like that, right? The The top left box is basically controversial people without controversial opinions. That would be, for example, like Britney Spears' sister. You know what I mean? Like someone like that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, people that kind of have safe opinions, but they're always getting in fights. Michael Rappaport, I might put in that category. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, so he's got like all these controversies, but nothing he actually says is very, you know what I mean? You're allowed to say everything he thinks, right? Then in the top, so the bottom left, bottom right is now dissonant voices. So this is not that controversial of a person, but pretty... Pete Davidson would be a controversial person, but not a controversial opinions, right? Yeah. Bottom right is, I would call, dissonant voices. So you're not that controversial of a person, but your opinions are pretty controversial. I'd put a lot of comedians in this kind of category, right? Um, Can you... just We'd probably be closer Can you be not a controversial opinion or a person while regularly having controversial opinions? Well, that's dissonant voices. Okay. So dissonant... But doesn't that by... Wouldn't that just make you controversial? That's not... That's the whole separation between controversial Mm. opinions and controversial personality. Because you don't... You don't view yourself as controversial. No. So a lot of people like Howard Stern have become controversial people more... And they used to be controversial people and they used to have to say controversial things, right? got it. So now he's just a controversial person. So now he's just in the category of uh of drama so the bot top left category britney spears sister those people i call that drama okay. so we have drama safe dissonant voices and the top category which is controversial person and controversial opinions i call that category loose cannons so that's the alex joneses of the world the potentially trumps of the world and then a lot of people that i would put sort of in they would they're they're in the middle so they're at sort of in they're in the loose cat- cannon category but they're not that far into the corner so they're closer to the middle and that would be like barstool dana white where they're saying controversial things but not that controversial but they're pretty controversial kanye west like nothing he says is that that crazy yeah. but he's very like controversial person so he's a bit of a loose cannon a bit of a dissonant voice and he's sort of on the line you know uh-huh. so anyways uh, I, I have a question this is the theory oh uh- Okay, that's a theory. Okay, I have a question. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is what this, do you think? Is this going to be on the test? <laughs> you imagine me making it, waking my chick. <laughs> no, I feel like, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, wake up. Like, you're going to crack something. And you tell her, she goes, what? I cracked it. You cracked what? Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the controversy rubric. This is me at 4 a.m. <laughs> you're tra- you're fucking- Charlie from fucking It's Always Sunny with the fucking strings. You go, and this is the controversy <laughs> So you don't like it? No, I like it. I, so you, I, I do. There so is you're telling me you don't like there my is theory? I, I guess the question is, and now that we have this framework, what do we do with said thing? Or, we know how to it, categorize people. Because people and, will and be like, oh, he's move- controversial. And you go, no, he's not a controversial. But, That's drama. But you could also do it by, you know what you could do is you could have like, um, 
by year or by decade and then see how they move around and see like, look, this person is like a kind of a hypocrite. That's true. Because he used to be here and now he's here. He used to be a controversial dissonant voice and now he's more of a, all of, I would say that, you know, a lot of YouTubers, their controversy was based around their opinions and then they slowly, their controversy is just based around like fights with other people. Well, it became their business. Or, you know, or for example, um, you know they're boycotting some product because they hate the people like they have yeah, all yeah. they have all these uh dr it's drama it's i would drama. call it yeah, right yeah. their controversy where they're in a big public fight with their wife like it's drama yeah but nothing uh, the opinion wise all right yeah nothing opinion -wise. anyways anyways that's a lot to that's a lot of uh fancy <laughs> jargon to say that howard stern's lame now no hey, well i wasn't well howard stern was part of why i was thinking oh, about okay. this but because i actually listen when i rented a car and i drove to canada i they had sirius and i was like you know i'm gonna flip on howard what's stern? howard stern up to sucked wasn't good my girl because my girl loves howard stern me too she loves him i used to love him too but she's like she's like oh i used to she's it's everybody's like i used to love howard stern she still before. likes him yeah no she thought she still likes him and like okay let's see what he's up to and we're listening to him for like i don't know half an hour he's like interviewing fucking like i don't know so you know hugely famous people and then like it's just nothing and you're like this sucks and it's not funny he's cracking these like lame ass jokes and you're like this is just, I don't what know. is interesting if you think like if howard stern interviewed neil young 20 years ago, he'd probably be talking about all the heroin and yeah, groupies be like, and yeah, stuff exactly. like that. Tell and now, the they're crazy gonna and now they're talking about how, you know, Joe Rogan's saying naughty things. Yeah, he goes, oh, <laughs> you, when are you scheduled for your second booster? He's like, you want to go together? You want to get boosters You want to go together? Like, what are you, what are you Pfizer? You're a Moderna man? Right. 